Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Here we are, another day in paradise. It is actually pretty nice in Southern California. So I hope everyone is doing okay. I bought this candle at the 99 cent only. It's like a wood smell. I like it. And it was cheap too. It was a dollar. So, okay. So I'll start out with the food because what I want to do is I want to do some all in one pot food. So you have your vegetables, you have your meat, you have your dairy, you have everything. So this is the beginning of some potato and uh, bacon soup. So I covered the vegetables with water and I cooked them down until the vegetables were done. My uh, milk got messed up because I uh, pour, I uh, spilled some oil in my refrigerator. So I'm going to use half and half, but normally I use evaporated milk because when you add half evaporated milk to the water, in your soup that tastes really good so i had potatoes <laughs> still going all right let me see how many potatoes i have left last i counted and i got two in there and i cut them in big chunks because when you're relying on the potatoes with less meat it gives your soup more substance so let me see so this was 10 pounds of potatoes i have Two, four, six, seven. <laughs> oh my gosh. So it's actually a really good uh, strategy for saving money. If you buy potatoes, this blouse is very dated, but that's okay. I don't care. I wear stuff anyway. It's so old, I bought it when Sears was closing out. But And I threw it out on the tarp, and I tried to sell it for $1.00 and there was no takers but it's a new blouse it still had tags on it but finally i go oh heck with it and i threw so i just want to add enough milk to this soup to create a nice uh, a nice soupy soup not too thin but you could you can thick it thicken it if you want to with flour but this is basically potato soup so if some food sh uh, shortage starts, I would rather eat potatoes than beans myself. And potatoes, and then I want to add one pat butter. I make uh, lima bean soup the exact same way with ham and then, you know, the evaporated milk. And uh, it's good, you know, it'll get you by. And, and I just happen to like it. Oh, I gotta tell you guys something. So let's see, since I'm using heavy cream, I'm just gonna use a half a pat of butter. No, I'm gonna use a half a pat. Okay, so a, a while back, I switched to butter rather than margarine. So um, I had two pieces of bacon left in the refrigerator and I usually cut my uh, bacon in half pound pieces and then I just keep it in the uh, refrigerator and I eat it down. And I stockpiled a lot of cream and half and half just in case, you know, so that, um, just in case of God knows what. Look at the Ukrainians, that's God knows what. So, okay, I cooked two pieces of bacon. It could be ham, um, hamburger, sausage, or hot dogs. So you might think that is not going to taste good with hot dogs. Yeah, it does taste good with hot dogs if you have hot dogs. Okay, so in this case I have potatoes and I'm always telling my son if you ever have to eat potatoes, make sure you have, uh, I mean beans, make sure you have potatoes. So this could be lima beans, this could be pinto beans, navy beans instead of potatoes. I have carrots, celery, onion. It can be any vegetables, whatever you have in the refrigerator. So I cook the vegetables first. I cover the wa with water 
and I added some dry onions. I finally just, I'm buying the big size, you guys, and preparing for the worst. What is the worst? The worst is a food shortage. The worst is a cleaned out uh, store. Um, the COVID has hit Hong Kong and they've cleaned the, the uh, stores out. Here in San Diego, during the first pandemic scare, people just bought two and three freezers. You know, they go to Costco, they clear the store out. It'll ha and then we have the people who come up from Mexico clearing the stores out too. And I don't blame them one single bit. So uh, now I want to add a little dry parsley. So um, the parsley adds a little something. I don't know exactly what. I bought, I finally got some garlic powder. I put about a, a quarter a teaspoon garlic powder to your taste. So it was potatoes, carrots, celery, onion, dried garlic, and then, you know, I, I added the, to the vegetables I added cooked bacon. But it could be ham, you know, I'll show you in a minute. Then I added the evaporated milk, but I had cream, so I used cream and butter, and then I just added parsley. But uh, you can add any seasoning you've got in the house. This is all a hard recipe, so let me give it to you. It's right here. This is what I just did. And this is a good little meal, right? I noticed I wasn't leaving them up very long. Okay, you guys, since I have gotten the hang of this, you know, taking care of your equipment in your kitchen, my kitchen is so much nicer. Here is my new, here is my new knife set. And the birds can tell you I was up until all hours carefully maintaining my knives, cleaning them very carefully and wiping the blades off very carefully not wetting them over an extended period of time. And, and it's, it's awesome. I mean, even if you don't have any good knives, and I said this was an unbranded set of knives, but it isn't an unbranded set of knives. These are, uh, I wrote it down. Messer Stulch professional grade cutter grade. They're not extremely expensive. It's about $200 a set, but I bought mine for $450. And um, I might take the, as I'm figuring out which ones I use, I don't want them super sharp because, you know, I'm an inexperienced. Uh, that's why I'm not going to be doing too much chopping so that I don't hurt myself. So, um, you know, the knives make the difference, all the difference. And here is my wooden spoon. And yes, I did treat my wooden spoon. I, uh, when I, after I washed it carefully, I, um, rubbed some, I'm using, uh, lard, but it could be oil to, uh, treat my wood properly and my cutting board as well. And I broke my cutting board. But I will be investing in some better ones. And look at my nicely treated pan. Yes. I go, oh, you guys, you have, treat, you have created a monster. And everything just so, so monster. That's my name. My. Okay, so to, I washed my sweater and my slacks that I bought. And now they're hang, hung up in the closet. All ready to go when I get my real estate license. When I was first doing hair, let's see, I was 15, 14 or 15. And how it happened was we had this PA system. Anybody who wants to be a hairdresser, go to room such and such. And I said, oh, that's for me, that's for me. My dad said, no, no, you don't want to do that. You want to get a good job. And I said, oh, no, dad, no, no. My dad had run to college, you know. Oh, no, dad, I want to be a hairstylist. And so, you know, I was a little bit on the spoiled side. And the next thing you know, I was in beauty school. Oh, it was so great, I thought. 
it, it worked out good for me, but it's not an easy life. So, um, but one aspect of the nice, the, the just so-so stuff, you know, uh, certain women go with me. So uh, now I'm kind of like, you'll notice in the chefs, the, I'm looking at this Julia Childs cookbook, and I thought, I don't want cutlery all over. I don't want stuff all over because I just spent time feng shui in the kitchen, and I like it feng shui, and it's going to stay feng shui. I have a place behind the birds. I have these tall cupboards, and it'll fit right in there. That's a good spot for it, and I can take it out when I want to use it. Because, uh, you know, it took me the longest time. So I got the farmhouse thing going. I got the wooden bowl. I don't want paper towels out either, but they are. And, you know, I got a nice little thing going on here. So I want it to stay. So, okay, so to go with my soup, I want some cornbread. And I had some in the freezer. Otherwise, I would have baked some. Um, today, I posted on the, the thumbnail, I had my potato rolls with homemade cheese, and then I had an orange. So the lunch, a good lunch, would be um, a sandwich and a small fruit or small vegetable. And in my case, it was real small. It was a half orange, I still got a half left. I'm not a fruit person. So now, joy of joys, I have my cornbread, but joy of joys of joys, I'm going to use my nice, my nice bread, that's not it. I now have a bread knife, you guys. Oh, and when I was cutting those vegetables, it makes all the difference. So what you can do is keep your eye out at the thrift store. and pay, I bought the set for $4.50 and buy yourself so I can carefully slice with, oh, all the difference, you guys. You know, now you, my stuff is not murdered, but fanatic of fanatics. You wipe your blade until you have now whoever owned these knives was the pig of pigs they, they kept the blades good but the handles were el grosso i'm sure it was a man so anyway i have my knees uh, soap and water and you know i disinfected them but now i'm a fanatics of fanatics so i have my cornbread and I'm not real picky. I'm just gonna throw it back in the freezer and eat the rest later. Uh, what I do, I've told you guys this before, is in the middle of the night, I, um, I eat cornbread with sugar. I, I break it in pieces and I uh, put a little sugar and milk. That was the family way. And, you know, in the Bible, we do this in remembrance of me, Jesus. So, and it uses up my, uh, and also all the crumbs, you know, no wasting. You can put them on top of your soup if you want. I'm going to buy new dishes. I'm going to be buying new stuff. I'm stepping my game up, but I'm not spending a lot of money. So look at these nice, thin, nicely sliced pieces of cornbread. You guys have seen me murder everything. Okay, so now, I don't need a big bowl because I'm not starving, but you know. So here is my soup. Take a look at that. And so, fortunately, I didn't throw away my plastic cutlery because I'm a, so this is like how a true peck right, you go, oh yeah. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Now I got all these. I got this with a new pan set. So uh, now I have a ladle. Uh, I haven't had time to treat all my new pans, but one of these days, 
you know, the birds are taking up time too. Here it is. I have to change them sometimes three, three times a day. Now today they have, this is bizarre, the world of birds. They have been sitting in the same spot all day. So their cage is not destroyed, but which is kind of gross, but that's what's happening. So, okay, so you remember also, I bought the new spoons, which is awesome, for 25 cents each. And I was over there and I was searching around and they didn't have any more. So I didn't put salt and pepper on my soup. So now is the time I want to do that. So it's bacon and potato soup. And I, I've made this oh, quite a few times, but I just want to encourage you all, maybe just for prepping, preparing, maybe just buy 10 pounds of potatoes. So there's plenty of nutrition, and you could have a couple hot dogs on the side, or you know, a sandwich if you want. Okay, so today I, I took the birds out, the babies, uh-oh, and uh, I planted the green onions. You know, I kind of sprouted them, and then I planted them in the backyard, and this year what I'm trying to do is if the food I eat has seeds, I'm trying to retrieve the seeds. Okay, babies. Can you say hi to the YouTube followers, please? Okay, here they are. Shadow is the blue one. Shadow. Oh, they're pecking. No pecking. Shadow gets jealous. No, Shadow is the gray one. And Sweetie Pie is easy. Sweetie Pie. Sweetie Pie is smart. Ow. See what I go through all day with these two? Uh, don't think Shadow is so, so innocent. They're territorial over the nest. You guys, the perfect children. Okay, so I planted the garden, the great onions, and I'm planting like, like here is my, look how fast the uh, celery grows. So, you know, God forbid, you know, we'd always have green vegetables. So let me taste my potatoes and, uh, so take a look at this. You could thicken it up, but I never do. This could be helpful. This is why I do this. Not because I want to tell you guys how much freaking money I spend. So I'm on number seven, Petty Cash. This is the first of the month. I went to McDonald's and I bought a Coke for a dollar and eight cents. Then I went to uh, 99 cent only and I stockpiled up on, on some produce. And I want to tell you why I did that. And the reason I did that is because I follow Ellen's Abundant Life. Ellen is doing a no spend. And so um, I thought, so it's the first of the month, so she stocked up on produce because she's a vegetarian. And I go, really, that is a good idea. That is a really good idea. So I bought... Uh, celery, it's on the thumbnail. Blueberries, I bought sponges, you know, for cleaning the kitchen. Strawberries, apples, a bag of apples. And then they had big bags of carrots. So now, for me, this would be a lot of fruit. But what I'm doing, if you hear it, my, once again, my, uh, my uh, dehydrator is going. And uh, I made a lot of nice raisins. And basically the reason for the raisins is because of granola and then I make fruit and nut bread. So you're not gonna be out of fruit and nuts that you need for cookies, for bread, for granola, for eating in the middle of the night. So uh, this, is, um, this is a whole uh, container of strawberries. And I will clean them. This is a container of uh, blueberries. I'm I'm dehydrating. And this is apples, two trays of apples. So this way I'm under no pressure to eat all this fruit. 
it's not going to go bad. And so what I did is I copied Ellen. And what she does is she preps all her stuff before she puts it into the refrigerator. But I'm prepping my stuff by dehydrating it because uh, I know there's no way. You know how many uh, strawberries I would eat? Zero. But uh, they'll be good in the uh, granola. So uh, that's, and I bought, okay, so now I bought three cans of food for the stockpile. And if I didn't have, if I didn't have cornbread, I bought these at um, very, very cheap one time at Grocery Outlet. I have two boxes of crackers. Uh, I stockpiled fairly recently two cans of tuna. I can eat those right out. Uh, you guys may remember the beef stew. I could put beef in this soup. That would be good. And I bought uh, vegetarian soup. I have one in my car with some crackers. But today, I, when I was buying the produce, I want to mention this. I bought these for 50 cents each. And this is enough food for one day. So for 50 cents, and it is... Uh, they say one serving, but these are actually really good, and this is enough for a day. You won't starve. And then I bought um, some olives, because olives for 50 cents is really cheap. Uh, why I like to have these is because I like to make enchiladas with cheese and black olives. That was the old, that was way back in the day. And then have you guys ever tried one of these? Uh, this is a microwave single serving cake that I bought one time really cheap. So I took it out because pretty soon I'm going to make them. So I had $30 left in the um, petty cash and I spent $12.50. Uh, so basically my spending would have been almost nothing if I hadn't decided to stock up on uh, produce. I think it's a good idea. I don't want to be caught in some uh, scramble for food.